YouTube. I'm fresh out of the shower again this morning to bring you a video and this is Grocery Finds Tuesdays so I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of things that I tried this week that are new. Um, hopefully I'm not going to let my wet hair distract me. I'm just making videos. This is how I am. Makeup or no makeup, hair done or not done, I'm coming to you. So, um, so this morning it was a little rough to get out of bed. It's still dark outside but I wanted to make this video because my computer has been taking an extra long time to upload for some reason and last Tuesday I couldn't get my Tuesday grocery finds video uploaded until Wednesday so I'm trying to be on time. Alright, so this morning I have two things here that I want to show you. Um, the first of them being, this is a product that I found thanks to our friend Banded Wendy. She uses this a lot. Um, now this is Hershey's Natural Unsweetened Cocoa Powder, and it is good. Um, this you can stir into shakes. Um, I like to stir it into Greek yogurt with a little like peanut butter in there, a little bit of granola on top. It's good when you want something sweet. This is unsweetened. And folks, I am aware that they do have Hershey's syrup that's sugar-free and fat-free and all that stuff. I personally don't like it. Um, it's got a lot of chemicals and junk in it and it's like a really weird texture and I don't know what kind of sweetener they put in it. I personally would rather use this and put the sweetener of my choice in and make it as sweet or not sweet as I prefer. So I really do like this stuff. I used it last night, uh, mixed it with a little bit of Greek yogurt and like I said peanut butter. And then my second product that I want to show you here is... I. I made a video recently um, about tea mistos that I make at home, and I use this product. Sorry, I've got a baby monitor over here, so you might hear my son waking up. <laughs> I was trying to get this video done before he woke up. But um, this is alcohol-free stevia liquid. I love this. Love, love, love it. Because it's liquid, it stirs in really easily into yogurts and into smoothies, and you don't get, like, gritty... Um, sugary kind of texture in there um, and stevia is supposed to be like the healthiest for you right now if you were to check next month it'll probably be causing people's arms and legs to fall off or something of that effect and they'll be suggesting the newest and latest product for you to use for your no calorie sweetening needs but for now it is stevia that is the best for you and this stuff can be kind of spendy. You can find it in your regular grocery store over in the health food section. Um, but it, I can't even remember how much this costs. I think my husband bought this from his naturopath when he was on this really big health kick, which he actually didn't like this. I don't know why. This is the non-flavored kind. They come in different flavors too, but I prefer this one just because it's like a sugar substitute. And you can use it in baking. You can use it in shakes. You can use it in yogurt. I put it in my Greek yogurt a lot. Um, yeah, it's good stuff, and you just use a, free, a few drops. I put this in coffee, and now, okay, so I am one of those people that's kind of of the train of thought that real sugar is probably the best for you. I had R and Y, so I'm really kind of sensitive to real sugars. Now, that's kind of on a broad scale. Like, if I eat a lot of sugar, it will make me mildly dump. If I eat a little bit of sugar, I'm usually okay. But what I do with the sweetener is, this goes into things that I do like every day. Like I do coffee every morning, so sue me, I need my coffee in the morning. But I put six drops of this into each cup of coffee because this has zero calories. If I were using real sugar, drinking my coffee every single morning, over the course of a month, I would have a lot of calories added up from that sugar. So that's what I use this for. If I'm having like a rare occasional sweet treat, I will have real sugar in it and I will eat a smaller portion. Um, that's just how I prefer to do it. I think everything in moderation and you should be fine. So these are my two grocery finds of the day. Um, get yourself some Hershey's Natural Unsweetened Cocoa and try that out and some alcohol-free Stevia Drops. Now these come in different brands. This is New Naturals, but whatever brand you have in your store is probably fine. They have a really, really long shelf life. Um, yeah, this stuff, both of these are awesome. So. Another thing I want to share with you is I found an awesome recipe um, this week that I wanted to try and I actually made it yesterday and it is for homemade ricotta cheese. 
I love, love, love ricotta cheese, but the kind you buy in the store is full of extra fillers they put in there and it takes some of the protein out, so it's not as protein packed as it should be. So I found a really easy recipe for it. Some recipes you'll find call for ingredients that you can only find at a cheesemonger. The one that I found calls for whole milk, yogurt, um, a little bit of heavy cream, salt, and white vinegar, and that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and put the directions in the, uh, I think it's the more information box, so that you can try it out for yourself. It was really easy to make, you guys, and if you like to use cheese in your cooking, um, if you like cottage cheese, if you've never had ricotta cheese, I can't imagine that you wouldn't have, but if you have it, you should really try it. There is nothing like homemade warm ricotta cheese. It is amazing. You could eat it by itself, drizzle just a teeny bit of olive oil on it. Um, what I did last night, I've been like insane with pumpkins. These two are going to be going into my crock pot um, probably this week and I will be cooking it up, making baby food with it. And I have um, been making pumpkin soup, which is really good. It's full of fiber. Pumpkin is good for you. Sprinkle of my homemade ricotta on top. Mmm, so good. Also, inside the pumpkins are pumpkin seeds, which you can roast off in your oven. They're super high in protein. It's a great snack. So, those are the grocery finds for the week. I'm going to post the information for the ricotta so that you can try some for yourself. And, um, yeah, so happy shopping. And I hope you all have a great Tuesday and you make healthy choices. And I will talk to you on Friday for my weigh-in. Bye-bye.